Okay, good morning, students. So, last class we discussed the topic A is the what is the dipole? Okay, what is the dipole? So, the dipole plays in the uniform electric field. Uniform electric field. So, to producing of the arc, so the tau is equal P A cos theta to find out the in a last class. Okay, so what is the dipole? So the dipole plays in the uniform electrical field. So uniform electrical field. So to find out the dipole moment, to find out the so torque. So the torque tau is equal. Torque tau is equal P E. So cos theta to find out the in the last class. And so now today discuss the about the topic is electric field intensity. So today discuss the about topic is. Electric field intensity. Electric field intensity due to the at any point on the axle line of the dipole. Axle line of the dipole or axis of the dipole. Okay. So now to find out the electric field intensity or expressed electrical field intensity, axle line of the dipole at any point. Okay, at any point. So now to take a, so consider the dipole. So the dipole is a consist of the two charges. The dipole is the consist of the two charges minus Q charge and plus Q charge. Minus Q charge and plus Q charge. These two charges, okay, these two charges are separated by the small distance. Separated by the small distance. So that is called as a distance is 2A. So the arrangement is called as a dipole or this system is called as a dipole. Okay, clear that. So now is taken minus Q charge and plus Q charge separated by the 2A system. So 2A distance that is called as a dipole. So the axis is extended through some distance. Okay, so extended that is called as a axle line. Okay, axle line. Now we shall calculate electric field intensity, electrical field intensity at a point P, at a point of P on axle line of the dipole. Okay, so now consider the point P on the axle line of the dipole, taken the distance small r from the center of the dipole. Okay, so now consider the point P. Now consider the point P taken the distance small r from center of the dipole. Center of the dipole. Okay, so at a point P, two, uh, two charges are acting, two electrical field intensity acting. So now we shall calculate the electrical field intensity due to the plus Q charge and due to the minus Q charge. Due to the plus Q charge and due to the minus Q charge. So now first of all consider the dipole. So the dipole is the consisting of the two charges minus Q charge and plus Q charge. These two charges are separated by the small distance and so now we shall can we taken the point P. On the axle line, taken distance r, okay, from center of the dipole, from center of the dipole, and now we calculated electrical field intensity at a point P due to the two charges plus Q charge and minus Q charge, plus Q charge and minus Q charge. Already, so discuss the small topic in a last class. So electrical field intensity due to a point charge or single charge okay so already so discuss the topic is in your last class so electrical field intensity due to a point charge electrical field intensity due to a point charge so electrical field intensity due to a point charge so e is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon q by r square is taken Okay, due to the electrical field intensity, okay, due to the single charge or point charge. So, due to a point charge, electrical field intensity E is equal to 1 by 4 pi epsilon 2 by R square. 
Okay, now what he has taken two charges. These two charges are producing the electrical equilibrium intensity at a point B. Okay, so now first of all, take an electrical field intensity, electrical field intensity at a point P. Electrical, electrical field intensity, intensity. Okay, electrical field intensity at a point P, at a point P due to dipole, due to, due to plus Q charge. Plus Q charge is taken. Okay, so that is called as a E1 is equal. E1 is equal 1 by 4 pi x naught Q by R square. R square is nothing but he has taken distance to charge to point so R minus A. R minus A whole square. So that is the equation 1. Okay, so electrical field intensity, electrical field intensity at a point P, at a point P due to the plus Q charge. Okay, so that will take an electrical field intensity E1 is equal 1 by 4 pi x naught Q by R minus A square. R minus A square is taken distance. Okay, charge to point distance. Okay, clear that, got it. So now next one is taken electrical field intensity, electrical field intensity, intensity at point P, at point P due to the, okay, due to the minus Q charge, due to the minus Q charge, minus Q charge. So that is taken E2. Okay, E2 is equal to 1 by 4 pi x naught Q by, okay, Q by, so taken the distance to R square, we have taken R plus A, so for charge to point of R plus A whole square, R plus A whole square, so this is equation 2, equation 2, are you clear that? Now, the total electrical field intensity, total electrical field intensity, now calculated total electrical field intensity at a point P due to the dipole, at a point P due to the dipole. So, that is equal, E is equal to E1 minus E2, E1 minus E2. So, these two, total electrical field intensity at a point P on an axle line is taken, this E is equal E1 plus addition to E2. Okay, so that is add up, add up E1 is the E1 plus E2 is taken minus, so E1 minus E2, E1 minus E2. So, E is equal E is equal so 1 by 4 pi x naught 1 by 4 pi x naught q by r minus a whole square minus 1 by 4 pi x naught q by r plus a whole square r plus a whole square so e is equal 1 by 4 pi x naught is taken common okay now Next, here we get so Q is also taken common. So 1 by R minus A whole square minus 1 by R plus A whole square. Okay, now taken the common Q 4 by X naught. So remaining equation in bracket. So 1 by R minus A whole square. So minus taken minus and 1 by r plus a whole square r plus a whole square and so e is equal to q by 4 pi x naught okay lcm is taken r square minus a square whole square is here r plus a whole square okay and so r minus a whole square r minus a whole square under bracket. So E is equal to Q by 4 pi x naught. 4 pi x naught. So R square plus S square plus 2 R A. 
माइनस आर स्क्वेयर प्लस ए स्क्वेयर माइनस टू आर ए बाय आर स्क्वेयर माइनस ए स्क्वेयर ओल्ड द पर ऑफ स्क्वेयर ओल्ड द पर ऑफ स्क्वेयर सो ई इज इक्वल टू बाय फोर बाय एक्स नॉट सो अंडर ब्रैकेट ओके सो आर स्क्वेयर माइनस so r square plus a square plus 2 r a minus r square minus minus r square minus plus minus a square minus into minus plus plus 2 r a okay by r square minus a square whole to the power of square okay clear that now next one e is equal to q by 4 pi epsilon so r square r square cancel a square a square cancel so remaining equation we get 2 r a plus 2 r a 4 r a okay 4 r a by r square minus b square whole to the power of square okay so now the electrical moment p is equal is already already we know that so p is equal to a q p is equal 2 a q and so we have taken 2 a q so e is equal e is equal to 2 okay p okay p is nothing but 2 a q is remaining r okay so 4 by x not r square minus a square all to the power of square r square minus a square all to the power of square if taken condition okay if taken condition so that is so that is e is equal so e is equal to p r by 2p r by 4 by x not r square minus a square all to the power of square if the condition is taken r is greater than greater than greater than a ओके इकड़ा सो कंस्टेंट इसमें तो ये और इसमें ये चार आ ग्रेटर दर टेम्परेचर तो भी ये ओके सो नाउ इस रिमेन इक्वेशन सो फोर पाइ एक्स नॉट और स्क्वेयर ओल्ड द पर ऑफ स्क्वेयर ओके सो आर आर स्क्वेयर ये टेकन आ सो इन दिस इक्वेशन ओके आर स्क्वेयर प्लस ए स्क्वेयर आर टू द पर ऑफ फोर R to the power of four, R R cancel. So remaining equation is equal to P by four pi epsilon into R to the power of cube. R to the power of cube. So this is called as a total electrical field intensity. Total electrical field intensity at any any point on the axis of the dipole. Axis of the dipole. So E is equal to P. By 4 pi epsilon r cube r cube okay got it right okay now discuss the another topic in a similar way okay so now last topic is to find out the electrical field intensity to find out the electrical field intensity or axle line of the dipole at any point okay clear that. So that is equal. E is equal. So one by two find this one. So one by four pi epsilon. So P by R cube. Okay. So two P by R cube. Last class. So now today. Uh, so now discuss the topic is electrical field intensity. Electrical field intensity on equator line on equator line of the dipole. Equator line of the dipole. So now. Calculated the electrical field intensity. Electrical field intensity. Okay. Electrical field intensity on equator line. On equator line of the dipole. Equator line of the dipole. At any point. Okay. Clear that. At any point. To express the. To find out the electrical field intensity at any point on the equator line of the. dipole equator line of the dipole okay so now so first of all we consider the two charges minus charge minus q charge and plus q charge minus q charge and plus q charge these two charges are separated by the small distance 
separated by the small distance so that is 2a small distance so that is 2a okay up to clear and so now we shall calculate electrical field intensity electrical field intensity at a point p due to the dipole due to the dipole okay so clear that so now the electrical field intensity due to the minus q charge and plus q charge minus q charge and plus q charge so the electrical field intensity and due to the plus q charge just like is acting a1 and so minus q charge is taken due to electrical field intensity and the total electrical field intensity total electrical field intensity at a point p due to the dipole okay so the p point is taken small or distance from center of the dipole from center of the dipole now consider the point p at any point p on a equator line of the dipole equator line of the dipole so now first of all these here the two components okay two components so the perpendicular component so perpendicular component is nothing but so e1 sin theta and e2 sin theta is these two are these two are equal and opposite okay so equal and opposite cancel to each other okay so there is the perpendicular component so perpendicular components are cancel to each other and the parallel component so parallel component is taken e1 cos theta and e2 cos theta okay now before topic is as the axial line is taken so axial line is taken so no more conditions now here the one condition is taken because so the point is taken now the point is taken on equator line but in a plane okay equator line these are two components is acting on parallel component and perpendicular component so the perpendicular components are cancel to each other because equal and opposite equal and opposite these two charges are cancel these two forces are cancel to each other but the parallel components the parallel components are add up okay na so there is a e1 cos theta plus and e2 cos theta are parallel components okay so e1 and is equal to and e2 okay so because these are same difference same distance so from plus q and minus q charge so the electrical field intensity also similar so that is taken e1 or e2 okay e1 or e2 total electrical field intensity is equal to e cos theta 2e cos theta okay total electrical field intensity at a point p now e1 is equal e2 that is equal e okay e that is equal e so that is nothing but e cos theta and e cos theta is a taken 2e cos theta 2e cos theta so we have taken r plus a square is the distance from point b here are the similar like that r square plus a square same distance okay so electrical field intensity is similar so that is taken condition e1 r is equal to e2 that is equal to e so the total electrical field intensity e is equal to e cos theta okay so the 2e cos theta electrical field intensity 2 into e so electrical field intensity due to a plus q charge or due to the minus q charge are the taken any one okay so plus q charge is taken that is called as a 1 by 4 pi eps not q by r square plus u s square r square plus u s square okay clear that r square plus a square now so cos theta cos theta is nothing but so opposite side by here the taken theta is taken okay so adjacent side by hypotenuse adjacent side by hypotenuse so adjacent side is nothing but a hypotenuse is nothing but r plus a square whole to the power of 1 by 2 under root okay or under root so under root is uh, removed taken 1 by 2 so 2 a q 2 a q by 
4 pi x naught r plus a square whole to the power of 1 r x square plus a square whole to the power of 1 by 2 so that is called r square plus a square whole to the power of 3 by 2 whole to the power of 3 by 2 so already we know that so the momentum p is equal take a 2 a q p is equal 2 a q so now substitute e is equal to p by 4 pi x naught r square plus a square whole to the power of 3 by 2. Now, if the condition is taken, r is greater than greater than greater than j. Okay, now so r is greater than greater than compared to the a. So that is taken electrical field intensity e is equal to p by 4 pi x naught r to the power of q. Okay, r to the power of q. 2 2 cancel to each other and we can write a directly formula. So e is equal to p by 4 pi x naught to the power of r cube. Okay, r to the power of cube is taken. So this is the total electrical field intensity on axial line, sorry, not on equator line of the dipole. Equator line of the dipole. So similar pattern on axial line and equator line, but one change. So I but one change is taken that is the axial line is taken only single equator line is taken this is the two components is acting so perpendicular component and parallel component so perpendicular components are cancelled to each other and perpendicular parallel components are added so that is the e1 cos e2 cos but e1 is equal e2 that is equal e that is nothing but 2e cos so e is equal already we know that and first is to find out so these two simplification we get e is equal to p by 4 by x naught r square plus a square over to the power of 3 by 2 over to the power of 3 by 2 if condition is taken r is greater than greater than a so a is equal to p by 4 by x naught r to the power of q r to the power of q so okay got it right so now next class discuss the topic is gas law what is gas law what is the important of the gas law what is the applications of the gas law okay so thank you students